Welcome to Textonation. We're in New York with the Senior Vice President of Marketing and Product Design for Light, Brad Lautenbach. Thanks for joining us, Brad. Thanks for having me. Well, tell people who aren't familiar with Light, haven't been reading about it for years now, what this is all about. So Light makes the L16 camera. This is a computational camera. There are 16 discrete cameras in this device, and every time you take a picture, we take 10 and use an algorithm to fuse and combine them all together to one very high quality, very high resolution image uh, on the end. 16. 16. So there's five modules here at 28 millimeters, five at 70 millimeters, and six at 150 millimeters. So you have the ability to zoom all the way through that range, optical zoom, so 5x from 28 to 150. And the image you get is 52 megapixels in resolution. Sure, you've been told this before. That doesn't look like a camera. I know, <laughs> I know. In fact, there are five, these little five guys that are 28 millimeters are the same kind of camera in your cell phone. And we're leveraging the innovation that's gone on in the mobile camera module industry over the last 10 years to create very high quality optics using molded plastic lenses and small sensors. And so we overcome the challenges the smartphone faces by using multiple sensors to increase the surface area of our synthetic sensor. Now, this is coming to market Soon. It is in market now. We actually started shipping in July. We started taking new orders for the camera in September, and we will be shipping, uh, we are shipping those now. So if you order one now, you can have it in about January. That's awesome. And it's been a long time coming. Tell us about the process that's been going on here. Yep. You've been with the, with the company for about four, about four years. years? Yeah, so when I joined, uh, there were about five of us in the company, and Rajiv, who was our co-founder and the inventor of the technology, prior to this he invented LTE, which is the wireless protocol, we, the reason we have high-speed internet on our cell phones. And he took up photography as a hobby and quickly realized, I think as so many of us do, that it, carrying around a big DSLR is kind of a pain, right? You have to bring a bag with you. Oftentimes it means you have to check a suitcase if you're traveling. And so he developed this concept and started to test it out in simulations, do kind of the optical design work, and said this might actually be a way to solve for high quality imaging, kind of long focal length optics in a small form factor. And so when I joined, there was no product, and we got together as a team and said, what are the pain points photographers really face day to day that this technology might solve, and what would they want in this kind of a product? And so we spent almost two years really just talking to photographers over and over again to say, you know, when you're out and you don't have your good camera and you have your phone, what is it that you wish you had with you? And we heard resolution, we heard zoom, we heard low light, um, we heard the ability to create those beautiful depth of field effects, kind of that shallow depth of field you get with a wide aperture lens, um, and we got almost all of that into this device. And so it was a really kind of a learning process of understanding you know, what does the photo community need and want in a smaller device, and, and we came up with this. Well, step us through how an owner of, of the light camera would use it. So we're great. Right now, right now it's still still only, it's right? still only right now. We'll do video later this year, um, and that will be uh, not computational, but just one single sensor uh, video, but 4K. So all the way through that zoom range, which is really great. You don't get that on a cell phone. Um, and this is really great for, for travel, for portraits, for uh, landscape photography. We're finding people are doing really neat things with it, where they can kind of zoom all the way into an image and find detail they didn't even know was there. And you're expecting professionals and photo enthusiasts to invest in this? Absolutely. We're looking at the audience we have right now that's really excited about this is kind of the intersection of photo enthusiasts and tech early adopters. You think of the people that are into kind of the newest and latest gadgets um, are, are gravitating toward this. We found that pros are picking this up as kind of their weekend kit. They want they don't want to bring their big rig around on the weekend when they're doing personal shooting or they're traveling, uh, trying to travel light. They'll take this with them for their, you know, their pocket camera. Well, step us through and then how uh, you can show us the back of it too. How how this is used? Well, so this is what well, we tried to do: make this side very complex. It looks very scientific, right? And make this side very uh, approachable. So this is a five-inch HD touchscreen. The device actually runs Android, so it's it's a smartphone platform. It can have apps on it and all those things. So if you've ever shot with a so smartphone, you can put Android apps on this as well. You will be able to soon. Yes. So right now we're just running camera, um, but so you can kind of see. If you've ever shot with a cell phone before, this interface will look very familiar to you. You have an on-screen shutter button, you can tap to focus, you can't really do much right now because we're not looking at anything cool, but you know, if you zoom all the way in, you can go all the way up to 150 millimeters, tap to focus again, take your picture, you go to your gallery, you can do uh, your sharing from the gallery. It's kind of a bad picture. I had a better one before, there we go. Now, um, what is happening, it's taking 
10 photographs at once. That's right. And, and so then what happens inside here? Right now what we're doing is, is we'll show you one picture uh, from one sensor here is a preview image. If you come in here and process it, it'll actually take five of those images, because it's a little bit lighter on the processor, take five of those images and actually fuse them all together. So you'll get incredible sharpness, really, really great detail, and you could share that image right over Wi-Fi now to uh, social media. If you wanted to get more resolution, you go to your computer and use our desktop app called Lumen, and you can get 52 megapixels of resolution there and play with uh, the depth effects. So you so can. What, what, when you're saying play with the depth effects, what yeah. can you do? So you can simulate any aperture from 15, f15 to f2. So we can, if, if I shot a picture of you and I wanted more blur behind you, I could adjust that in a slider, just like you would adjust contrast in Photoshop. If I wanted to take this with me to take photos at a a waterfall, for instance, can I slow down that shutter speed? Do, so how, looking, how does this work? Yeah, so it, it mimics a, a traditional camera right now. We're looking at inserting things like uh, scene modes, like for wa slowing down water or night sky shooting, stuff like that. We're kind of getting feedback from our audience right now about what kind of scene modes people want to insert. We have to treat some of those effects a little bit differently because of we're doing this computation and it's not just single sensor shooting. Um, but we will be putting that in here um, in upcoming software updates. The cool thing about this is that it gets software updates over the air just like your phone does. So an app updates on your phone while you're sleeping. This camera updates uh, every couple of weeks with new software and new features. So it's it's really neat because every couple of weeks you feel like you've got a new toy. And like a phone, can the can the Android operating system be updated on it? It yeah. can, yeah. So we, we wanted to escape out of our uh, camera app here. Sorry, doing this on the side is tricky. Um, we can go right into Android, um, futz around with the settings, and it's just like a, a modern mobile device. Are you able to use Skype or other apps to have conversations? Not using right yet. Or? We will be adding um, some social apps, some photo editing apps. We're also going to open up the platform to developers because one of the interesting things about this technology is that it captures depth. So the reason we can do this blur effect in the background is we know where that wall is, where your face is when we take the picture because we're able to calculate that using the disparity between the lenses, right? Just much in the way a phone uses, uh, the iPhone uses uh, the two lenses to create portrait mode. We get really, really rich detail about depth. And so we'll be able to open up that depth information to developers. So if you wanted to, uh, say a real estate company, wanted to be able to give you a 3D map of a room, we could do that with this camera and know exactly what the floor plan dimensions are. Very cool. Now. Tell us, uh, in, in terms of the, the, the what went into creating this, it took a little longer, I think, than what the company had hoped to, to get this to market. Yes, it's a tired cliche in the industry, but hardware is hard, <laughs> it turns out. Um, the technology is really, really advanced, and making it is actually really difficult. There are 3,000 parts in here that we source from all over the world. 3,000 3, parts in this? parts in there, yeah. So keeping track of that supply chain is no small feat. And when you're a startup and you go to Asia and ask for help from contract manufacturers and other component suppliers, you know, on day one they ask you, okay, great, how many million do you you want to make and as a startup you're not really ready to make a million on day one and so getting people to help us out has been a, a long process and really a negotiation trying to find people that buy into the vision of this and, and want to help a startup out. And once again a little bit about the story of how it came about you told us to some extent. So Rajiv uh, took up photography as a hobby after he sold his last company and I think he became frustrated as so many of us do that we have these nice cameras and we don't use them often um, because they are big and bulky and complicated and they sit on our shelf in our closet for a while. Unless you're a photographer proper, um, you know, you will take it out for a special event. And we found in, in surveys we did that uh, uh, like half of all people who own a really nice camera only use it a couple times a year and we thought that's kind of a, a waste of really nice gear. Couldn't we do something that's smaller lighter, easier to use, it gives you the same features of a nice camera. And so that's kind of how this came to be. He was really solving a problem for himself. Cool stuff. Tell us now about how people can get hold of one, how much it costs, etc. Yep, so this goes for $19.50. It's available on our website to reserve today. Uh, it's just a small deposit now and the balance when we ship it. Eventually we'll be shipping them in real time once we get the manufacturing process spun up. It's at our website. So right now you put a deposit yep. down? $250. Yep. Okay. And when would... When would you get the camera in your hands? Orders placed today, so late October will ship in early January. Great stuff. For more information, where do people go? Light.co, C-O.
very interesting. And again, it's light, just like L-I-G-H-T dot C-O. Brad Lautenbeck, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you so much. It's great to be here.